going to see us tomorrow or not? <laughs> Is the game tomorrow? No game. Okay. No? no. <laughs> I give you a, a day off, guys. <laughs> Next two days. <laughs> Same process as ever, guys. If you can raise your hand, we'll come to as many of you as we can. Start with Simon. Uh, Pep, uh, congratulations on the win. Before we start, can I just ask you what the situation is with Rodri? I know he spoke before the oh, game, yeah. but when do you expect to find out what the situation is? Um, still, we don't have the the definitive. We'll be out for a long time, a while. But uh, there is some opinions that maybe will be less than do we expect. So, but unfortunately, it was injured and. Right now, still, I cannot tell you because we are waiting the last phone calls from him and the doctors to know exactly what definitely he has and and the type of surgery that he has to get. How? When do you expect to find out? We we'll expect tomorrow. I think tonight, tomorrow, we know it exactly. I think the club he will inform perfectly. Um, just, just in terms of tonight, um, Nunes has not had the easiest time since he arrived from mm. Wolves. Have you always believed that he can yeah. be the player you want him to be? We have a special quality that few players we have. It's a unique His pace and the transitions is unbelievable. Uh, and I'm really pleased for him, for the goal, who would score more and uh, still have something have to read, to understand, because it's not easy sometimes with the new players adapt a few things, but really pleased for the, for the I would say, the for him because he's a lovely guy and lovely guys deserve always a good things. Rob? I, I know you just made a joke then about the number of games you've got to play, but what has it taken out of the players physically to play twice in three days and particularly Kyle Walker who's obviously started on Sunday and played 90 minutes tonight? Well, uh, Kyle, Kyle didn't play uh, last game, so much. Uh, play last game 70, 75 minutes and, and play the central defender. You have to make less effort, you know, it's more uh, position intelligent. Is is really good because have a a good long pass and uh, his pace from behind and uh, I spoke with him last 50 20 minutes how did you feel and he said no I feel good so play 90 minutes and really good uh, and we plan to make 45 minutes Jeremy 45 Savio and the rest was players didn't play against Arsenal so it's good for the rhythm for everything for the message to me and yeah we play a uh, we concede one shoot, and lately it happened that uh, we create a lot to finish the game with three, four, five, zero. Second half, especially clear, clear chances, and and after yeah, the last minutes we went through everything that happened, but finally we could close close the game and go to the next round. Richard, uh, hi Pep. This is a competition you've obviously won four times and always taken very seriously. With the way the fixtures have been done this year, with the European games being up against it you know, last week or tomorrow. Is that damaging the competition as a whole? I would say the next round is going to play the players. We're going, I, I announce you now, they play the last minutes or the second team. We're not going to waste energy for this competition, for sure. So, uh, I don't know what's going to happen. If I have a lot, lot, lot of injuries, going to play the second team. Uh, and you have players that you have all the squad ready. It's a good competition to take the rhythm. That's for sure. Just as Richard said, given your history in the, in the competition, though, does that frustrate you that you're now in a position where you're saying we're not going to waste energy on it? The schedule is the schedule. So yeah. We cannot handle it anyway, so differently. So uh, Today from marketing, from Mateus, from Jagger didn't play, and from uh, from Phil, the two three months didn't play, from, of course, Nico, from... Rico, of course, played a lot of minutes, but he didn't play against Arsenal. And from John, for example, for Kyle, for the young like 60 years old, from Stefan, it's a perfect. It's a perfect. So, and they, I, I saw players that didn't play lately, how they feel, how they are, physical condition, how the rhythm and the pace and, and everything. So that's why it's good, this competition. Otherwise, we would not win four in a row if we take necessarily. We lost last season against Chelsea, I Newcastle away in the first round, and we played really, really, really good with a. Uh, a lot, a lot of young. Jacob played fantastic 25, 30 minutes. So, yeah, it's good. And we play, we play, we play. Everybody saw it. We play to win the game, to go through. We we never, never throw up, you know, get rid of a competition or game. Never, ever. But, of course, so <laughs> we play 50 hours ago. So we cannot, and players play a lot of minutes. So, 
absolutely I'm not going to take a risk in this competition for a Premier League or a Champions League. And can I just ask what, what yesterday looked like? What, what is the preparation? Today. The preparation was the guys didn't play last night, training a little bit, a little bit, the position are going to play. And recovery yesterday, today all the players before earlier than usual to make another recovery for players in the waters and, and the other one. And that try to <laughs> so uh, watch as much as possible what for, for my people, myself today, what they do and prepare the game like usual and, and compete like they had. Hi, Pepe. I'm just on Rodri again. How, have you spoken to him? And how yeah. is he? Is he devastated? Uh, no, it's okay. He's strong. It's sad, of course, and waiting the final decision what he has to do. And how sort of confident are you? You can still have a good season without him, you know, for as long as it's as long as he is out. W don't want it, but we will have a good season. I, I trust a lot with my players. I have the duty to find a solution. Rodri is replaceable. When a team don't play with the best midfielder of the world for a long, long time, of course, it was a big, big, a big blow for us. But it's football; it's happened. But my duty is find a solution to be competitive, like we have been for many years, and continue to be there to be a, a problem for our opponents. And could Kevin De Bruyne be back? You said no risks tonight. Could he be back? And could he I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, yesterday in training, today I didn't see him, so I don't know. And is is Rodri? Is you said he's the best player in the world? Is, is he in his position? Yeah. Yeah. Is, does that? I mean, is he irreplaceable? Really? Yeah. Yeah. But I will find a solution. We have alternative. We will do it. When one player is irreplaceable, we have to do it as a team. And this is going to happen. We have last season. Three months without hurling, five months against Kevin, and and we were there. We won the Premier League, despite of many things. Jamie. Hi, I'm Pep. I know Mikel Arteta is a friend of yours, but did did you feel, did Rodri feel, did the players feel that maybe he was targeted by Arsenal? I'm talking about specifically, basically at the start of the game, I think it was Havertz ran straight into him. Did you think that was what was going on there? No. Not at all? No. And Rodri didn't think that, no? I didn't speak with him. Hopefully not. He thinks the same as me. OK, thank you. You're very welcome. Ask for my Michael, please, guys. You said you're going to have to find a solution for Rodri. I know, obviously, you wouldn't want him out, but is there any part of you that finds that challenge kind of exciting, that you're going to have to try and find a, a solution now without him? I realised for many, many, many times that the opponent, and after win four players in a row, six and seven, they aren't going to install the red carpet in every single game to make it incredible with our best dresses uh, um, perform like you want. So never, never thought that. So this is a challenge. We need that. So and different ones. So when the people say that uh, what do you have to do, what do you have to play, we challenge different thousand million teams and different ways to against us and we handle it. And what happened against Arsenal is belongs all the time against us. So never, never, ever in my life, even the people thought in my comments because the people misunderstand me, because they don't want to understand me or they didn't believe me what I said, the play opponents can play the way they want to do it. It's belong to us to handle them and break them in the way we have to do. It was Mikel, because after the time we text each other, and the relation don't change absolutely anything. They decide to play in that way. It's more than perfect. I never justify. It's fine. I would not able to do it. They are. They were brilliant. It's about us how we can break them, and we did it really well in many things. So, always that happened. So, uh, we are not here to say to the team, "Oh, you are going to play the way we want to play." Absolutely not. We play in that way. Lately, we play a lot of team defensively. Inter was so deep. Arsenal so deep. For the reason, ten against eleven. Uh, today, what for? It's about us. Because it's not the first time in, in eight years. Do you know how many times we play teams that play in that way, like today or the last game? Too many? Millions. Millions. And there are other teams, no. That they are more aggressive, they are more brave, or brave, they are more attacking, or whatever. It's about us. It's really it. 
So uh, we can expect it's going to give you, oh, guys, do whatever you want to win the game. That's not going to happen. You have to know it. That's why the challenge. Rod is not here. is a problem. Yeah, we have to complain. I feel so sorry for him. I feel so sorry for Oscar Bob. He's not there when he was in incredible top form in the BC. What are you going to do? Guys, we with you and recover as best as possible with the best department, staff department, medical and you have, and go through with the, what we have. And this is the challenge. So it's nice. So always happen in the problems. This is a big one. Okay. What do you have to do? Uh, I'm so sorry. It's a pity. Absolutely not. Let's go. What we have, what happens we have, go to Newcastle to try to win the game and do what we have been for many years. It's what it is. So it's simple as that. So uh, me as a manager reflect what can do better against incredible, even if it's 10 players in so deep like Arsenal, what can do better. Of course they can do it. I admire them what they have done. I cannot do it. I'm not able to do it with my team, defend five central defend that way. Defend every single ball, block every single ball. What I'm saying, I said to Mikel, you did it amazingly. So it's not a problem. Everyone decides because they know the teams and all the players, they do exactly what they have to do. It's not about that. It's not. It's what we have to do to do it better. And this is the way or the reason why, for the quality, for many reasons, that you had success for our mindset. This is this is what the team have been in the game will be. Until I'm here, this is going to happen. Thank you guys. Oh, I like. <laughs>